it is Stephanie here, the dashing eccentric in the sewing world. Um, today I want to speak to you all about a request I've had from Adrian from Wear the Hat, which is buying fabrics online for clothing. Um, it's been a popular thing for many years. A lot of ladies feel uh, comfortable buying fabrics online for crafts and quilting, but when it comes to clothing, so many of us, especially people that have um, uh, were sewing before the internet age, you know, you really like to get there and feel the fabrics, uh, be able to, you know, get them off the bolt, hold it up against yourself and look in the mirror, see the drape and the hand. And uh, so I know there's still a lot of people that are very leery of going online to buy fabrics um, for clothing. So I want to talk to you today about uh, why you should maybe why you should at least consider it. I know many of you do. Um, kind of how you're going to find out what you want to buy, who you want to buy from, and how the process works. I found that if I kind of uh, chunk it down into those elements, it's really not so overwhelming. And you'll be surprised if you've never purchased online before that you actually uh, have the vast bulk of this knowledge right here already or very easily accessible. So um, just for one short personal note, um, I haven't been very active online at my blog for quite a while now. I have been sewing, I have been fine, but my uh, husband started having a lot more hectic work schedule, which took some time away from my day, and then uh, the blog spot changed how they were doing things, so there was new technical things to learn, and then my mom, unfortunately, uh, broke her back and had to have uh, major surgery last year, so I've been living with her about the past year. Thankfully, mom is in a great spot. She's doing really nicely, and things have started to let, uh, let up there. She's able to do a lot of stuff that she really wants to do now instead of just trying to heal up. And so, um, yeah, so I've been having more free time as well, so we can do things like this. First, why would you want to buy online? Well, the sad fact is that these days, a lot of our um, brick and mortar stores, especially the small ones, are going under, and even some of the large ones, like Hancock's, is no longer that so that is one kind of a negative thing that may be pushing you there even if you're not particularly wanting to go there however and this is the show-and-tell aspect um, you may find that there's a lot of fabrics that are available to you that you never had um, any ability to purchase before now I have been sewing here in the San Francisco Bay Area for over 40 years now and we have just you know world renowned fabric stores here like Brightex in San Francisco is just like a landmark um, Stone Mountain and Daughter has been there for years it's a fabulous and funky store uh, you know anytime you go there go upstairs get all the sales um, it's fantastic and they employ wonderful people who are extraordinarily knowledgeable and creative um, we have Poppy for many years which unfortunately closed but now one of the ladies who was involved there is running a, sh a shop down on Piedmont Avenue and there's a ton of other stores that I haven't brought up. However, me personally, I would still go out and shop and have a heck of a time finding anything that I wanted to sew. Uh, most of the times I could find beiges and blacks, the very kind of basic things. But when it came down to, you know, the really special pieces or anything more outstanding, a nice fun print, I just wasn't running across what I found appealing. Part of this was um, due to uh, there just not being a lot of garment uh, fabrics out there for a while. But also, I have warm coloring. I look best in colors that are kind of grayed down. I look good in low contrast prints. And this is basically the opposite of what the vast majority of the uh, United States market prefers in terms of fabric. So of course they're not going to cater to someone who may uh, be only like 6 or 8 percent of the population. That's not a, the recipe for staying in business. So um, what I found is that um, when you have an online shop, and I buy a huge number of my fabrics from Marcy Tilton, um, you have people that can go, you know, sell all over the United States. They can sell internationally and uh, cater to that could be a small number of people who are doing things. So uh, let's see, I'll show you some of the things that I have bought. All this I'm going to show you here today is uh, stuff I bought online. This 
is a fantastic lace that I uh, purchased recently from Marcy Tilton. It's a cotton blend. I hope you can see this. It has a fantastic uh, three-dimensionality to it. It feels wonderful. It's got this great, um, very detailed uh, crochet, uh, not crochet, but lace effect on it, and it was a joy to work with. I haven't seen anything like it for years in any, any stores around here. Um, this uh, linen, actually, if you like Marcy Tilton, this is uh, the same fabric that was on the um, envelope cover for her uh, 8876, a very popular dress pattern. I made it into another very popular pattern of hers, the Cirque dress. Um, it's this great uh, digital fabric. Uh, see up here, you can see some of the kind of effects that it has This uh, here in the print and the gorgeous colors. It's a beautiful linen. I've been wearing it for a couple years fairly regularly and it's still in fantastic shape. It's another uh, advantage to buying fabrics made expressly for clothing. They look better right out of the gate and then they're going to hold up very nicely. Uh, this I made into that 8876. It's another fantastic uh, digital linen, these great taupes, uh, real depth, even though it's just kind of black and white, it's got these great depths of creams and taupes in there and it's just the most fantastic uh, fun print. I've actually had people run me down <laughs> in the street because they want to get a look at this dress. And that's good. You know, to me, that's like a great, uh, uh, how can I say, endorsement for buying from Marcy Tilton or some of these other fantastic online vendors. Um, for example, Gorgeous Fabrics, a lot of really beautiful special occasion uh, fabrics there. But it's not often that you have someone just literally run down the street. I also, uh, when I was wearing this dress, had a young man from Argentina in San Francisco stop me to get my picture because he was uh, so charmed with what I was wearing. Now. Uh, a lot of these things are what Marcy Tilton is kind of known for, but here's another beauty. If you go with an online boutique vendor, um, she'll often ask when she's out on the road, what do you people want me to look for when I'm shopping? And just recently I asked her for warm tones and florals, and apparently she went back and found some warm tone um, fabrics, which is fantastic. I have a hard time finding it, and it's not often that you run across something like this. French. Uh, it's just a beautiful floral. It also looks very fresh and up-to-date. Um, it has this great kind of acid uh, citron color in there, which just really uh, adds to the sophistication. And let me see if I can show you this. Because, I mean, just this print, even on like a, you know, a plain cotton would be fantastic. But I'm going to try and show you this. You see it's on this beautiful uh, jacquard, woven jacquard, very delicate paisley pattern and it's um, a lot of these kind of long threads where you would worry about it catching on something or falling apart and again I've been wearing it regularly for a year or two and it's still in fantastic shape. Um, same with this, it's like a cotton lawn voile, really beautiful, um, was a kind of a border print. Now, actually, this and the last one, I still have more fabric. So, this is the last thing most people would expect from Marcy Tilton, but with these, you know, boutique vendors, they can have the ability to cultivate these kind of smaller markets because they're online, they're pulling from all over. This one is funky. I just love this print. It's, a, again, a great uh, cotton that's stood up to lots of wear. And it's just got this fantastic um, kind of charcoal drawings on there and this funky stuff. It's a lot of fun. It's another one where people will run me down and stop and say, I need to look at your clothing. And I'll show you one more here. This is uh, some yardage I haven't sewn up yet, but just it's just gorgeous linen, this incredible print. I love these type of roses. And anyway. So that should hopefully whet your appetite, get you excited if you haven't yet taken the plunge to go online. Okay, so what do you need to know? First of all, what are you going to be buying? How do you know? Um, if you're in a store, you say, okay, I'll go over to the denims or the cottons, whatever it is that you're looking for and, and go there. How do you do this online? Um, first, what I like to do if I'm looking for a specific fabric,